Hello and welcome to the Metal Collector. Today I'm going to do this not so typical uh, video for you. Um, I'm cooking right now and normally when I cook I always listen to music and I was thinking uh, many times it's the same albums that I put on the stereo so I guess I have uh, some certain favorites to, to cook to albums and uh, today <laughs> the, today the metal collector will uh, be about my 10 favorite cooking albums how strange that sounds but stay tuned <laughs> Alright, uh, today, like I said, it will be uh, what my favorite albums are to cook uh, to and um, it, will, it won't be in the order of which album I have cooked mostly to because I, I wouldn't know, but uh, these 10 albums are very often played when, I, uh, when I'm fooling around in the kitchen. So let's have a look, it will be a short list because I'm you know, preparing dinner, so and Enjoying a little piece of red wine. Cheers. The first one I will uh, pull out is uh, this unofficial Judas Priest best off. It's called The Beast Off. It's from uh, Go On Deluxe. I don't know what uh, CMC design. I don't know even though what uh, label it is. It was released on. I bought this in a grocery store where they had this uh, CD stand and it, it, it cost nothing and I was out driving and I, I just it, it's um, best off the early work I don't know if you can see it because of the reflection but anyway it's from uh, the rock and roller period and up till Sad Wings of Destiny there is the Diamonds and Rust version of this is uh, apparently if you read the uh, notes in this in you know the cover it, uh, it it tells you it is the original version I don't know but it's I love the early uh, Judas Priest stuff like also I love the new and and the middle everything everything Judas Priest has released is almost great except for in my opinion <coughs> the not so great uh, Nostradamus album I think that was a very it was a huge dis disappointment for me, but but this is uh, without doubt uh, an album I've heard many times when I've been cooking because it's just the early early work. Rock and Roll, um, yeah, makes some of changes, of course. The best song ever, Island of Domination, the Ripper, uh, the single, uh, yeah. So so this is I don't know how difficult this is to get your hands on. I, I wouldn't know. I've never. I've never uh, been searching that info, but I like it. It's, it's pretty good. Now, I know this album is, without doubt, maybe if I have to choose one of these 10 albums, this album is, without doubt, one of those I've heard the most when I cook. It's Megadeth, Countdown to Extinction. This album is brilliant to, to cook, so I don't know why. And it's one of those albums. Uh, if you're just doing hot dogs, that takes you know that takes like 15 minutes, so you can't hear the whole album. But if you cook, uh, doing some some really extravaganza kind of stuff, this is just great. Um, it's a more easygoing album than uh, the first four albums I know, but but it just has. It has, it's one of those albums that has this vibe where you want to listen to the whole album uh, in its wholeness, if you can say that. Hope you'll know what I mean. But from Skin On My Teeth up to Ashes In Your Mouth, it's really a great album. And I have listened to this many times when I are throwing around with the pants. Now, here comes Osmosis with Ozzy Osbourne. Again, an album that... When I listen to this album, I normally listen to the whole album from Paramazon to Old LA Tonight. It's actually been a while since I heard this. Um, maybe it's what I will put on when I'm finished with this video. 
Yeah, Osmosis. I, I really like and love this album. I know it's uh, for Ozzy Osbourne fans, this isn't the album that most people choose when they have to choose their favorite top five albums, for, for example. Uh, my favorite would probably be Bug at the Moon. Um, but this is, I really like this album. I know it's, it's a much more easy listening and uh, a little bit, I would say, um, laid, laid back in some ways. But you still have a lot of great songs. It's it's not about anything else than showing what Ozzy can do besides uh, what he did in the 80s, which is also great. Almost everything Ozzy did was also great. Now, here comes Rat, Invasion of Your Privacy. This is my favorite Rat album. Uh, also one of my favorite glam metal albums of all time. Um, it has You're In Love, which is one of the greatest rock songs ever written, in my opinion. And uh, again, it's it's just a very, uh, it's a happy album. You, you're smiling while you're uh, <laughs> doing your cooking. And uh, so, uh, again, an album I've listened to many times when I've cooked. This is Thin Lizzy's Black Rose. I don't know why this is the Thin Lizzy album that I put on often when I cook, but it is. Um, it's one of, I don't know if it's my favorite Thin Lizzy album. It probably is because it has so many great songs, but it's, it, it's also containing my all-time favorite Thin Lizzy song. It's got to give it up. I love that song. It's, it, 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 gives, it gives me the chills almost every time uh, because of, you know, about Phil Lynott's uh, drug habit now and he was drinking all too much and he was, all, you know, he was killing himself with all stuff so so that song is is a very personal song for him you can hear it and he's you know his soul is in the lyrics so but but definitely Candlemas Epicus Domicus Metallicus Metallicus a great great doom album and uh, yeah this is uh, this is a remastered version so you also have a live uh, show on it but uh, again it's a classic and not so much to say about this it's just uh, six songs <laughs> but long songs and and again it's fabulous to to do your dinner to uh, one of uh, the most underrated power or should we say in the early period speed metal and heavy metal bands ever running wild with the rivalry this I really love this band and unfortunately I have never seen them live and when they uh, played the farewell show I think it was at Wagen in 2000 I can't remember when uh, I was really sad because I, I hadn't uh, enough money to go there to see it so for me it was when they came back uh, and when he came back it's rock and roll when he came back and said uh, all right I'm I'm doing some more running while I was just like, yeah, I have to see them now. So uh, I, unfortunately, not yet. But uh, the rivalry is one of my favorite Run Wild albums, and it's also one of the favorite albums uh, to put on when I cook. Um, it's a, it's a sing along. It has a lot of melody and aggression. It's it's a pure Run Wild album. If you know Run Wild, if you don't know Run Wild, I would probably say start out with the rivalry or. Um, Pile of Skulls, that's also maybe my favorite, yeah. Testament, live in London. Um, why this? Because this is, for me, like some sort of the greatest hits of uh, uh, all the songs I love from the uh, early period. Uh, and uh, on Over the Wall and Raging Waters, Disciples of the Watch, you know, in, in the final end of the show you got Louis Clemens in, uh, on the drums coming in to join them and then you have the original testament not the complete original but the original classic lineup from uh, the legacy album and, and up to because Steve, uh, Steve Sousa from Exodus who was the first lead singer yeah um, Anyway, yeah, this is, uh, for me, a great album. It's just, uh, again, sing-along. It, it's the good old classic songs from Testament. I love them. Now comes Danish Pride. 
number one, I would say, King Diamond. Yeah. And uh, I've chosen the album House of God because, again, I don't know why, but this album is, in my opinion, a very underrated King Diamond album. A lot of people tend to just, when they, when they talk about King Diamond, they often it's just the classic five albums, I would say, from Fatal Portrait up to The Eye. And some also, no, no, actually, I, I, I don't think I've ever heard anyone said that Voodoo was one of their favorite albums. I enjoy the Voodoo album and also House of God, I think those two. A lot of people tend to to say The Graveyard is, is one of their favorite albums. I think it's an okay album. It's an okay album, but it's it's not my favorite. No, House of God, and especially when I cook, sorry for this, especially when I cook, this album has been um, on the stereo for many times. I really like this album. It's great. And finally, Iron Maiden, Life After Death. Yeah. Um, again, you know, it's a classic and, and people know, would know why I chose this because it's, it's just, you can cook and sing along all, all the way through. And um, uh, this is uh, from the uh, remaster uh, series where uh, there are some bonus tracks and, and some other stuff on it. And I like that they have choose to put on Phantom of the Opera. Ace is High and Phantom of the Opera, the two greatest Iron Maiden songs ever, in my opinion. But yeah, a little short video for you guys today, and I will continue my cooking. Uh, I'm having wraps, not that you would care, I guess, but anyway, uh, a little video for you today. My top 10 favorite cooking albums, and I will put on Ozzy Osbourne's Osmosis and continuing to do this. Thank you for watching, like, uh, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Thank you, and metal!